It has no fabric, only understanding. It has no membership, save those who know they belong. It has no rivals, because it is non-competitive. It has no ambition, because it only seeks to serve. It knows of no boundaries, for nationalisms are unloving. It is not of itself, because it seeks to enrich all groups and religions. It acknowledges all great teachers of all the ages who have shown the truth of love. Those who participate practice the truth of love in all their daily being. There is no walk of life or nationality that is a barrier. Those who are, know. It seeks not to teach but to be, and by being, enrich. It recognizes the collectivity of all humanity and that we are all one with the one. It recognizes that the way we are may be the way of those around us because we are that way. It recognizes the whole planet as a being of which we are a part. It recognizes that the time has come for the supreme transmutation, the ultimate alchemical act, the conscious change of the ego into a voluntary return to the whole. It does not proclaim itself with a loud voice, but in the subtle realms of loving. It salutes all those in the past who have blazoned the path but paid the price. It admits no hierarchy or structure, for no one is greater than another. Its members shall know each other by their deeds and being, and by their eyes, and by no other outward sign save the fraternal embrace. Each one will dedicate his or her life to the silent loving of their neighbor and environment and the planet, whilst carrying out their daily task however exalted or humble. It recognizes the supremacy of the great idea, which may only be accomplished if the human race practices the supremacy of love. It has no rewards to offer, either here or in the hereafter, save that of the ineffable joy of being and loving. Its members shall seek only to advance the cause of understanding, within whichever church, group, or family they happen to be. They shall do good by stealth and teach only by example. They shall heal their neighbor, their community, and our planet. They shall know no fear and feel no shame, and their witness shall prevail over all odds. It has no secrets, no arcanum, no initiations, save that of the understanding of the power of love, and that if we want it to be so, the world will change, but only if we change ourselves first. All those who belong, belong. That is the Church of Love.